Hey everyone. Today on Lou Ritter Fitness, we're going to talk about exercises to prevent and treat plantar fasciitis. Remember our plantar fascia are the bands of connective tissue on the soles of our feet. When they get inflamed, it is really painful. If you've got an extreme arch, either a really flat foot or a really high arch, you're going to be susceptible. Then on top of that, if you go out and do a lot of excess walking on a hard surface, or you buy the wrong kind of shoes for the arches you have, or if it's just a phase of your life where you're doing a lot more activity than usual, you can get flare ups. I had a really bad round some years ago, and these are the exercises that really helped me rehab my feet. So I really wanna share them with you. These days I use them as prehab, help prevent the injury from recurring. Now, if you're in the middle of mega inflammation, you're gonna to wanna to bring that down a little bit before starting these. So ice, twice a day, 20 minutes. Bring that inflammation down a little bit and then you can start incorporating these. For the first exercise, you're gonna need a heavy duty rubber band, like the kind that comes on broccoli. Next time you eat a bunch of broccoli, save the band. Now this first exercise I like to do with my back against a wall. You're gonna take the band, put it around your first two toes, your big toe and your next to your big toe. And you wanna get it as close to the end of your toes as you can without it sliding off. So you get the best lever of resistance there. You're gonna hold it above your foot. You can rest this arm on your knee like this. You're gonna pull the band taut and then contract down against it. Pause it for a good couple of seconds so you really get the benefit of that peak contraction and come back up without fully relaxing. Down, pause it. Now really important, you wanna keep the angle of your ankle the exact same as you're doing this. So you don't just start using your calf and your ankle to do it, but it really is coming from the muscles of your arch. This is working your arch flexors. I would go for about 15 reps. As you get stronger, you might wanna add some pulses at the ends. Those concentrated reps, they're a little bit faster in speed. Other foot, same thing. We worked your arch flexors. Now we wanna work your arch extensors. So we always keep a balance in the directly opposing muscle group. So now we're gonna do the exact opposite movement. The band's gonna go on the top of your toes towards the end, hold it from underneath your foot, and now the exact opposite movement, we're gonna contract upward against that band resistance, pause it at the top, and back down without fully relaxing keeping the angle of your ankle the exact same. 15 reps or so there. Balance out what we just did. For the next set of exercises, you're gonna need something small and squishy. Believe it or not, a fake grape works really well for this. Looks pretty realistic, doesn't it? And that's gonna come, you can get that at an art supply store like Michael's gonna come as like a bunch of grapes, tear one of them off. You can see I got a bunch of them here. Shoot me an email, I'll send you one in the mail. Or if you don't feel like doing that, you can cut off a small piece of sponge. That works pretty well. Now when you first start doing, doing this exercise, you'll probably wanna do it seated. You can eventually also do it standing up. You're gonna take your object, put it in between your big toe and your next to your big toe. Pick it up. Hold it for a good couple of seconds, set it back down, pick it up again. Now, as you go, you want to really spread out the sole of your foot here and then really compress it as you pick it up. So you're changing the surface area of that muscle each time as much as you can. I do about 15 reps here, then scoot it down in between the next two toes. Same thing. And you want to really give it that nice pause as you go. 
I would do about eight reps there and then keep moving it down till you've done it in between all your toes. And this is not only going to improve your strength and mobility in here, it's going to increase circulation. And that increased blood flow is going to speed the healing process and it's going to give you some immediate relief. So you'll get both the short term and long-term benefit there. I'm always amazed how much better my feet feel after having done these exercises. These days I do them whenever I strength train. If you're gonna do a total body workout, I highly recommend you also train your feet. They're what's holding up and supporting the whole thing. If you're in the middle of plantar fasciitis, I feel for you. Please figure out what's been causing the problem. If you bought the wrong kind of shoes for your feet, I've done it, throw them away. The number one thing you can do to start healing is figure out what's been causing the irritation and remove it. Then these exercises combined with anything to reduce inflammation like icing will help facilitate and speed the healing process. Good luck everybody. Thanks for watching. Be well.